Hey guys, our OS and VDX reviews.com. This is a retro review of the Motorola Razr by Motorola. This is Motorola's one of Motorola's best-selling handsets in the United States and globally because of its um, incredible, incredibly slim form factor, which was really revolutionary back five to six years ago when this device was first released and placed on the market. In the U.S., it was a huge hit and it really. Um, brought and ushered in a new generation of Motorola products that uh, Motorola is still using to influence their designs up to today. The Razer has again that really slim, Razer slim profile that is thus uh, the inspiration for the name itself. It came in a variety of different colors, including blue, black, and gray, and it came on multiple carriers such as AT&T, T-Mobile, and of course, Unlocked. Um, in terms of functionality, though, the basic Motorola, uh, the Motorola Razr was a basic uh, multimedia handset with a VGA quality camera on the top of the display and also a front-facing 1.5-inch uh, TFT LCD display for showing you uh, missed call information, notifications, as well as acting as a viewfinder for the camera itself. Otherwise, we had a volume rocker on the left-hand side of the device, a hot button on the side, and also a dedicated camera shutter key for taking pictures with the camera with the phone open. Turning the phone open, we do have a quite a large LCD display. It's very, uh, again, large for the size of the phone. Motorola takes a nice and good advantage of the phone size by implementing a large uh, TFT display. It's pretty bright and vibrant, although color uh, resolution isn't the, isn't the best, and also viewing angles is definitely... Uh, are definitely kind of weak and not very strong. Down below here we have the actual keypad itself. It's in a T9 style key layout, and you'll see that it's completely flush with the surface of the handset, which makes typing and texting by feel kind of difficult. That said, it looks extremely well made because it's made out of metal. It looks very cool, and the backlight that's blue just adds to the cool factor of the product, um, and it has a pretty good tactile feel to it when you actually press down on it. It's just kind of, again, easy to just slide around and slip around because it's such a slick keyboard. We also have a five-way navigation toggle, two additional hot keys, a talk and end key that dubs as a power button, as well as a web browser key, and also a volume key and a back key. We'll take a look at some other versions. Uh, this is the black version here that's actually exclusive for AT&T, and you'll see that pretty much everything has been retained, but instead of having a back key and a menu key, we have now a web browser key as well as a create MMS text message key, which has been customized by AT&T Wireless in the United States. And of course, the silver version that I have here, it goes back to... Uh, the more traditional layout, but again, it's changed. Instead of that, we now have a camera slash camcorder key instead of going a back key, and also we have a clear button instead of going uh, calling it a back button. So we have, again, slightly different layouts on all three phones, which is quite interesting to take a look at. Again, back and volume. This one is um, clear and a video camera, and of course this one is a web browser and MMS text message. So it's a little bit different on every single version and iteration, uh, which is interesting. I'm just going to peel off this cover, like so. You can see this one is actually still new, and also the one on the keypad. Um, but again, it's a very shiny phone, a lot of fingerprint, uh, it's a huge fingerprint magnet, so it's going to attract a lot of fingerprints, but it's a very attractive model, even in today's standards. Uh, just look back at the famous Motorola Razr, a bestseller for, for Motorola for a very good reason, and that's because it's a very beautifully crafted handset. Thanks for watching here at osmvtxreviews.com. A look back at the retro Motorola Razr.